Okay, we're going to get started. Uh, if you prefer, you can wait outside. I'd rather stay here if you don't mind. I've studied some medicine. I've seen dead bodies. Oh. As you wish. No apparent hematoma on the body. Two broken fingernails on the right hand. He didn't see the murder until the last moment. He didn't have time to struggle. Large hematoma on the back of the cranium. Uh, mm, fracture of the occipital bone. He cracked his head when he fell. Abnormal dilation in, um, both pupils. Where is pupils dilated? What did he see before he died? Three knife wounds between the third and fifth ribs in the proximity of the heart. And the blade was driven in deeply. And the stabs seem to have been delivered from the front and moved from left to right. The murderer was left handed one stab neatly cut the aorta, and the other two cut the left and right coronary arteries. And he really didn't have a chance. The blade slipped right through the ribs to cut the arteries. Did he die immediately? No, it would be fairly slow. Probably at least three or four minutes. At the time for the brain to stop functioning due to the lack of oxygen. Do you think the killer had some knowledge of anatomy? It's not impossible, but I doubt that someone who understood human anatomy would do this. You'd really have to be deranged to want to provoke a slow and agonizing death in this manner. I uh, saw a case like this once before. It was a while back now, in the 90s, I think. Exactly the same. Three stabs around the heart, each one cutting a main artery. It really struck me at the time. I wondered how such a thing were possible. It was the, um, what was that name again? Karsten or Kirsten, something like that. Kirsten? Yes, that's it, Kirsten. You know about that case? Not yet. I'm sure as hell gonna find out. <laughs> 